New at noon, the Wake County Sheriff says Sheriff's Office says it has recovered the body of a drowning victim. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. I'm Bill Young and I'm Liz Ortiz. It is the second drowning this week along the News River. It happened near the News River Greenway Trail and Lock Raven Parkway. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth is live in Wake County with what we know. Brea. At Bell Liz, we're just told by the Wake County Sheriff's Office that they have recovered the body of that drowning victim. Uh, just a few minutes ago, crews from Nightdale and Durham, who had been helping out, uh, just left the scene. But you can see behind me the Wake County Sheriff's Office blocking the entrance to the News River Trail as they investigate. I want to show you some video that the Wake County Sheriff's Office sent us yesterday of their search. We know that the call came in around 1130 Tuesday morning near the News River Greenway Trail and Lock Raven Parkway. A caller says a man went underwater and never surfaced. That area is known to get deep and dangerous north of Raleigh Beach. This is the fourth reported drowning in the area this summer, and I spoke with neighbors who say they're concerned. It's a lot. It's a, it's a big safety concern. Um, yeah, like some people don't know how deep it is further down or, you know, how close you can, you can go without, you know, struggling, but any amount of water can be dangerous. And this has been an all hands on deck approach. Other agencies assisting the Wake County Sheriff's Office, including Nightdale Swiftwater Rescue Team and the Wake Forest Fire Department, uh, also use their underwater drone. Now, we are working on getting an update on the victim. Once we do, we'll be sure to let you know on air and in the CBS 17 News app. In Wake County, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. Yeah, sad update there. All right, Brea, thanks so much.